Well, hello there. It's Ainsley here, your life transformation coach for Daily Adventure Fest. I'm looking a bit sexy, but like it's still 20 to 7 in the morning. So 6.40 in the morning and I just had this idea and I needed to talk even though I look, you know, like I just got out of bed, which I kind of did. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about pressure and resistance and what happens when you put pressure on something and the resistance that you get from it? And in, um, in my date coaching, I used to teach the guys about the pull-push technique. And I know it was a little bit, sounds a bit dodgy. Um, but it was more so about how if you kind of push on something or like, or like try, and, try and chase something to get it, you get, you get resistance, okay? So you, you, the other person will run away or they'll push back. And so what happens is that, like, there's two types. So the first type is where if you're, if you're a bit needy and you're coming from that energy of, like, oh, my God, I need you, I need this and I need that, and you're all needy, 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 then the other person 100% will pull away, okay? That's what happens. That's just the way nature works. If you're, if you're needy and you're full on with something, it's the same thing with money and um, anything that you want in your life. So this isn't just with dating. Anything that you put pressure on with needy energy, you won't get because it'll keep running away from you. The other thing as well, so on the other end of the scale is like the pressure, so like the aggressiveness, okay? Now, if you're aggressive, you're going to get resistance, um, and so if, if you're aggressive towards someone and you try to tell them what to do and control their world instead of controlling your own, then they're going to push back, okay? And I thought this this morning, like I was having, I'm just having a chat to a friend online about exercise and how I, I'm sort of going, you know, I'm going to just, just put it off for a bit um, consciously because right now I just want to focus on my work. And then we had this conversation that grew and grew and it got really interesting where it was like, if I stop putting pressure on myself to exercise and then making myself feel guilty that I don't, then I'll be more compelled to actually exercise. And I think that this is something that we all do. This is what keeps us paralyzed and stops us from doing the things we want to do. So if you want to get that hot body, you're getting this resistance in yourself because you're putting too much pressure on yourself to do it. And then when you don't do it, there's all this guilt around it. Whereas, you know, those days where you, where you just want to run and you don't think about it, and it's, you're in a flow, you're in this like nice flow where you don't, um, you, yeah, everything's just natural and it just feels like you want to go for a run and it's all really cool. And so when you, whereas when you put pressure on yourself and you think about it and you add all this weight and dread to it, then yeah, you, you get, you give yourself resistance. And it's the same with people around you as well. If you're trying to control their world, well, first of all, you can't, okay? You can't. You, you're actually, when you put pressure on someone else, they're going to resist you. Like, it's as simple as that. And their ego is going to be more important than your agenda and whether you're right or not. Because the best way, like, if you, if you want to give advice to someone or if you want to help someone out with something because you think you've got a good idea, then you suggest it. You don't force it down their throats. And I know I, I've learned this as well. Um, with the whole vegan thing and I, like I know that I can't be a hypocrite and I've got to be mindful of that because I ate meat for most of my life but I know that you put pressure on people they're going to resist whereas if you kind of just talk about it in a nice way and just say oh you know I feel amazing and whatever whatever and you, and you just talk about your own experience with it then people are more curious about it. So every time that you push your values and, and your beliefs onto somebody else, then you're going to get resistance from them. And I know this as well. Like I've done this myself so many times, especially as a coach, because you can see what's going on with the person. You can see exactly what they're doing. Um, but if you tell them too soon and in an aggressive way, then they're going to get resistance. And, yeah, that's just what happens. So if, you, if there's anyone that you're trying to put push put pressure on to do something and you're getting and they're not they're pushing back and they're not doing the thing you want to do and you're getting frustrated it's because you're putting pressure on them and you need to back off but it's also if you're doing it to yourself in your head then you need to back off on yourself as well and understand that your desires 
and achieving your desires don't come from being aggressive. I mean, sometimes it is, but it's, it's, out, of, it's out of alignment and out of integrity. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of, most people I know wouldn't, don't do that. And so, so that's key here, because you can't control the way a person thinks, feels and acts, right? You can't. You can influence the way that they think, feel and act by behaving in a way that makes them think, oh, wow, that's really interesting. But you can't, you can't make them feel something or do something, okay? Uh, you can only change the way and affect the way you think about it. So your perspective, you're responsible for your own perspective. No one else, okay? And, and, you know, if someone's pushing back, they're doing it for a reason. And so, and, and it's also if you're pushing back on yourself with, say, for example, exercise or eating better, you're doing that for a reason as well. And it's because it's your subconscious saying, you know, get, get off my case. Because your brain can't tell the difference between if you're having an outside conversation or an inside conversation. Because it brings up the same emotions. It releases the same brain chemicals. And so, say for example, if you have an argument with someone in your head, you, the, the, there's part of your consciousness that thinks that you're actually having an argument with someone on the outside as well. And so, whatever, whatever happens, whatever reactions you have towards yourself is very similar to the external reactions that you get from others. And so, if you want peace in your life and you want to feel happy and uh, in control, then you've got to control your own world. You can't control your external world. Um, as I said, you can influence it, but you have to work on yourself first before you can influence, because you can't influence if you're too busy kind of just pushing around on to everybody else. So that's it. Now, if you want to work with me, all you need to do is go to www.ainsleym.com. That's www.ainsleym.com. What we'll do is get onto the phone and have a half-hour session. First thing I'll do is help you look at the goals that you want to achieve in your life. We'll look at what's holding you back because that's a biggie. Like if you've got um, a lot of background stuff and that's bogging you down, something that's traumatic that's happened that you haven't quite dealt with, then I help you get out of that. So we will talk about how to get from point A to from where you are now to point B to where you want to be, okay? And we'll draw up a plan to do that. So the call is free. All you need to do is go to my website, hit the contact button, and fill out the form and I'll have a chat to you and we'll organize your life so that you can get out here and play because the world is waiting. <laughs>